So for the next 30 days, we're going to do a series of reels and stories about marriage and narcissism or being married to a narcissist. And so tune in each day and check these out. Um, not uh, Some of the things we want to talk about specifically is how to know when it's real and narcissistic and how to guard yourself against that if you're married to one, but also how to realize that not every selfish man is a narcissist, not every entitled woman is a narcissist, not every angry person is a borderline. Like these personality disorders have a cluster of behaviors that all need to be playing together in a way to be diagnosable. Now, if we look at narcissism as that cluster of attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors, and we look at how the attitude and the belief system runs the behavior, we can see traits in some people. So, so number one, narcissism is on a spectrum. Um, there can be a person that has traits of narcissism. In fact, most everyone will have certain traits of it. And, and it's not diagnosable, it's just we need to understand the traits and where they might spring from. And then there's also healthy narcissism, if you will. There's this, this confidence that they exude that if we can maintain healthy boundaries, and, and we wouldn't probably label it a narcissist, but there's parts of narcissism, parts of the, the, the diagnosable narcissism that are healthy, that like sense of self, that sense of um, taking care of self, but then you put it on steroids and turn it selfish and entitled and grandiose, now it's a problem. So on the spectrum, there's this spectrum where you can have traits. There's also this um, healthy parts of it. And then there's pathological narcissism. This is when these traits become a pattern or a pervasive sense of inflexibility, a pervasive sense of grandiosity. Um, it leads to impairment in the relationship. It leads to a lot of distress in the relationship. It's, it's really um, this, this lacking of empathy towards anyone but the self is what the narcissist is. So people say that narcissists have no empathy. Well, they do empathize, but it's always self-directed. Like, do you see how that felt for me? Oh, you're hurting? Well, I'm hurting too is hallmark for narcissism. And so what we want to understand in a marriage is the pathological narcissistic stuff. Um, we're going to talk about how narcissistic individuals struggle with maintaining healthy relationships. Um, they, they don't do boundaries really well. They, they lack that empathy for you. They lack that ability to admire you in their search for being admired. And so understanding these characteristics can help you identify narcissism that's real, identify if it's on the spectrum in your marriage and relationship, and understand the impact and whether you need professional help or whether you just need to have healthier boundaries. That's what we're going to cover. Get ready for it. We'll see you over the next 30 days.